Hi guys, uh, on today's video, I'm a roofer man. So uh, uh, last weekend, uh, as you know, last, uh, not last weekend, but uh, a week uh, before last weekend, uh, we have uh, a, a hurricane, Hurricane Ian, and it was, uh, it was a, a big uh, hurricane, uh, it, but uh, we got lucky, uh, kind of uh, miss us. Uh, it went uh, west. Uh, west of Florida, west coast of Florida, and uh, that area that uh, Fort Myer were hit so badly, and I will be, uh, I will put a link to one of the uh, blogger who's who's uh, like a storm chaser. You should see uh, the four minute video, and you can uh, kind of experience what it's like uh, being hit by a hurricane, uh, eye of a hurricane. It was uh, scary. Uh, you know, I mean, just the, uh, the, the wind was just like blowing, uh, the roof away, like, uh, nothing, uh, even, uh, even flip the, the boat. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, you have, you have to watch it. It's very scary. And, I uh, personally, we went through, uh, we went through that, uh, hurricane. Uh, we bought the house, uh, about. 20 years ago and then uh, in 2005 uh, we were the new you know we were we, of course we are uh, still new uh, with this uh, with this hurricane things and we decided that uh, first of all we have nowhere to go and secondly uh, also on a tight had of, of course tight budget uh, at the same time uh we was we were saying uh, how bad it, it's going to be we don't understand about the uh, eye of a hurricane in, that was in 2005 <coughs> so we decided to write the the write the hurricane and that was a the the scariest uh you know uh time of our life it was the longest night it came like a, in the middle of the night <coughs> And it was a very scary, uh, and you know I remember I have to go to my attic to cover it, put so those uh, block tarp because it was leaking. I it may it was started to leak, and I so I start to put the block tarp. Uh, I don't want my <coughs> sorry guys. Uh, something just caught up my <coughs> my throat. Anyway, let me drink my coffee. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I don't want to mess up my ceiling. The good things, uh, I did that. And then, uh, the next morning, the morning after, all our neighbor went out and we were looking, you know, uh, to see all the debris on the, on the yard. It was uh, such a mess. And, uh, half of my shingle is gone. So, uh, and, you know, it, and that happened to a lot of, you know, uh, it, around the neighborhood. So anyway, uh, but the good news is, uh, FEMA was very, uh, was helpful. And then, uh, uh what, what else? Uh, also the, uh, home insurance covered the whole thing. So we were okay. And we, you know, we are fine too. You know, not, nobody uh, in the, my neighborhood that I heard that, you know, got hurt. So, but that was, uh, that was some kind of experience. Now, I, uh, on uh, on the weekend, I went up there to just to double check was be even we missed the hurricane, that's, but the wind and the rain was pouring hard. So I went there, I checked and I noticed that I was missing uh, some of the rich cup. You see, you can, I don't know if you can see that. I tried to blow this up right there in, in the center. I have missing like a, probably uh, maybe eight pieces. So that's what I did. I went there to fix that. And I also noticed that uh, I was uh, checking on my, uh, uh, here is let me show you uh right there i was also missing some of uh, no not missing but uh some of my shingle was kind of uh it was loose so that's not good i need to glue it back uh you know uh, to make it tight uh otherwise you know when when your shingle start blowing and then you got rain and then you know that you know you're gonna cause you leak uh so you know i 
But I was using this caulking gun, and I I'm not good with that. And I find that uh, to to reseal the uh, the shingle is uh, kind of uh, difficult. Um, so I think I'm gonna get a can, and then I'll just use uh, those uh, putty knife. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna use the putty knife instead of caulking gun. Anyway, so yeah, I. Um, I was able to put the uh, the ridge cap, no problem. Uh, it it, was, it went very well, and then uh, at the last the last one, I have to put some nails, kind of exposed. So I need I put some of those uh, cement cover, covering the the nails, you know. And then uh, my question uh, to the viewer, you know, if anybody know anything about this flat roof, you know, this flat roof right here, I'm just going to blow up a little bit. I am uh, thinking about, because uh, I, I, I saw this uh, at the Home Depot, they are selling this uh, sealer. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I would, uh, you know, Put a coating of that. It's you know it's called the uh, elastometric, elastometric coating. Uh, it because it, it was saying that uh, it would cool cool down your like your patio. That, that was my patio. You know this uh, this uh, flat roof was my patio. It was so hot. Yeah, you know, it, especially in the summer. And uh, and at the same time, this uh, roof is at least uh, at least 15 years old or more, but it was holding up. It was uh, you know uh, no problem. Uh, you know, thinking maybe I put a coating, you know, uh, a sealer. Uh, let me know if you have uh, done that. You know, uh, what can you say about that? You know, uh, on on that flat roof. Anyway, so the other things that I want to share is. Uh, you know, when you and are uh, a homeowner, you have no choice. You have to do things that uh, DIY. A lot of DIY. I am a, I'm a chicken or pipe. I'm scared if if I go on like a just like a eight foot ladder, I will be you know, like shaking. You know, I I'm very uh, when every time I go up to my roof, I feel very uncomfortable, uh, and then I realize you know the uh the uh just not to a couple of months ago i bought uh, a very good ladder it's a called gorilla ladder you know those type the those type of ladder that you can uh, uh use in a, a lot of angle you know you can stretch it you know expand it uh this this is multiple process uh you know and that ladder was uh like to me is probably one of the best because, uh, like I said, I used to use an eight-foot ladder, you know, uh, and that 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 thing was kind of, you know, kind of wobbling, you know, uh, not very steady, um, especially when you put on, on the ground, you know, on the dirt, it's not very uh, stable. But this uh, gorilla ladder, I just put it on like on the wall, man, that. Uh, it never moved you know i uh, was i feel comfortable so my fear of height uh going up the roof like uh gone 50 percent uh you know so i would say that uh, you know if you if you like me are i've had a fear of height go get a good ladder you know uh invest on a good ladder anyway so uh yeah, I, you know, I was forced to, you know, to to fix my own roof. Uh, I remember, um, you know, again, uh, one time, like uh, when I, when we were new, still a new homeowner, I have a leak on my flat roof. Uh, you know, on my flat roof, I have a leak. And then I called a roofer. It was like a, at least 15 years ago, you know, before we, uh, you know, uh, redone the roof. And then uh, the roofer came over and uh, fixed my. It's just like a, uh, you know, it's a small spot. Maybe I would say maybe, uh, about fifteen by fifteen or twenty by twenty, something like that. Uh, he found a spot and he fixed it. You know, he put those uh, cement. You know, black cement, and it cost me like a uh, eight to nine hundred. I think I I believe. You know, so like. 
and in it, it was good. He he did it. He fixed it. He fixed the leak. Uh, it was good for a couple of years, and then you know, and then start leaking again. I I don't know if it's the same spot or maybe uh, uh, close by. You know, something like that. So I said to myself, you know what? I uh, I'm gonna go up there. I gotta find out what he he was you know doing. And now at that time, I'm I'm already watching YouTube. You know how to do it. So I went up there and I I found a you know where, what I think the spot of the lake. So I went to Home Depot, get the same stuff and put it on or co put the coat you know uh, the cement coating, and it fixed the lake. It was good until we had the big. Uh, typhoon, you know, um, the the hurricane. Uh, so you know, um, you know that's why I'm just sharing that uh, you know we when you are a homeowner in America, you almost you have to do uh, you have to DIY. You know, most of the project. You know, uh, I usually try to do it myself, uh, and unless uh, you know, I think you know it's yeah, it's best to just call the professional. So. I did a uh, couple of things, you know, like a painting. I, I paint my own, own house, you know, I paint the whole house. Uh, I already painted twice um, since I moved here. Uh, outside and inside, you know, I did all the painting. Uh, you know, the minor repair, uh, something like that anyway. So, uh, you know, I'm going to put the link uh, below, uh, you know, about the four minutes video about, you know, about Hurricane and you will see uh, when when they said that, when the you know like authority, the gov governor, when they said you need to evacuate, you need to go. Don't take chances because uh, these are no joke. I uh, you know one time we have uh, also uh, one uh, one time we have a, a hurricane again in in Florida. It's a hurricane season uh, between uh, in the summer between. Uh, I believe uh, started uh, July to. Uh, uh, October or November so uh, when it was very hot I remember like uh, probably I would say five years ago uh, we also got a warning and the you know the governor said you need to leave and we le we left because of that uh, 205 experience we left and the funny is uh, when we were leaving I was tra tracking the storm and to see where it's going and it was chasing us we went up to uh, even up to Atlanta Georgia and then the storm was there chasing us but uh, uh, at that time when it reached us it was just a, like a, a category uh, one only so it was not so bad, you know, but it's it, it's kind of funny, like uh, it, the storm was chasing us, you know, because uh, we were like said, oh, we should go, we should go east. And then and then we were tracking the storm. Yeah, it's going to go east. <laughs> and then we said, oh, no, let's go west. <laughs> you know, uh, anyway, so that's a fun, uh, you know, when you live in Florida, uh, you have to expect that, you know, uh, we have a hurricane season. Uh, what else? Um, yeah. I think that's it. So let guys let me know if you know anything about the flat roof. Should I reseal that? You know, with that uh, coating I just mentioned. Again, let me know your thought on this video. Thank you again for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. Okay, folks. Uh, so today I'm a roof man. I got to fix the uh, ridge cap. As you can see, they're missing a couple of pieces from the storm. And also, I got this stuff right here. Uh, this is the flat roof to my patio. And I notice there's some of the shingle here are probably I need to glue some back. Look at this. So, uh, I want to glue glue it back, you know, like this. Uh, so, when it's so windy, when it's raining, when we have a storm, uh, so the water, you know, doesn't get in. See that? I know. I noticed. I was checking the other day. I noticed just like couple pieces. Uh, I just need to glue it back. All right. Okay. I don't know here maybe I put some cement here uh. 
so I finished that. Uh, look good. That look good. That look much better. Uh, I just need to do uh, this uh, side right here. The one the loose uh, shinger.